So we're going to solve the initial value problem, dy dt equals 1 plus ln of t times y, where y of 1 equals 1. So here we're going to start with our separation of variables. So the y needs to go down here, the dt needs to come up here. So we have dy over y equals 1 plus ln of t dt. And now we can do our antiderivative of both sides. This one you see a lot in differential equations. It's just ln absolute value of y. Over here, well, derivative of 1, or excuse me, antiderivative of 1 is just t, which is fine. And then we have the antiderivative of ln of t. So just as a reminder, let's look at the antiderivative of ln of t. In, in case you don't remember how to find it, you do not have to have it memorized. But you need to know how to find it, and it's an integration by parts u equals ln of t, dv equals dt. So that takes up the whole thing. That makes du 1 over t dt, and v ends up being t. So putting that back together, we have t ln of t minus the integral of v du. So t times 1 over t dt, those cancel. Antiderivative of 1 is t, so t ln of t minus t plus c. So there was just a quick recap of how to find that. So we had the t from this 1, now we're going to have this guy here, so t ln of t minus t plus c. We can see that these t's are going to cancel. And we can actually find the, uh, the constant pretty quickly here because y of 1 equals 1. Well, when I plug in 1 for t here, that's going to be 0. When I plug in 1 for y, that's going to be 0. So that means c must equal 0. So we don't even have to worry about the c. So we have ln of y equals t ln of t. And we're going to employ a, a property of logs here to help us solve this. What we're going to do is this can become the exponent of what we're taking the natural log of. So we get natural log of t to the t. So we can make both the sides exponents of e, and we get y equals t to the t for our solution.